Hey there, Ulti Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Ukulele. In the last episode, we were doing things. And in this episode, I need to remember how in the world to do anything in this game, and also where the heck is level 3. Obviously not up here, I don't know what I'm doing up here, I'm just kind of exploring at, around and stuff. Just for the heck of it. Um, but yeah. So as you can see, uh, everything that I talked about previously ended up being irrelevant. Um... The timetable for that shifted several months, so... For the time being, it's all completely irrelevant, and thus... I am continuing to play. However, it has been at least two and a half weeks, if not more, since I ever touched this game. I haven't really even been editing it, so I have kind of completely forgotten everything about everything here. So, isn't that grand? It's kind of weird to, like, play the game, I guess. Especially because the control scheme for it all is so weird. Like, I've actually been thinking about this all a lot. But... I'm going back over here, by the way, because I remember seeing something. Yeah, there is this guy over here that I can probably get now. If I can remember how to do the move. This is the perfect opportunity to exp explain that. I think there is a very distinct aspect of this game that is just overcomplicated. Very, very overcomplicated. You'll notice that even back when I was, like, playing the game actively in previous episodes, there would be times when I just don't remember how to do moves. It takes me a moment to just figure it out. Like, oh, what is this? How do I do this move again? Which button combinations do I press? And I feel like there's an element of that that is just not necessarily good. Like the game is trying to be so complicated. That's the wrong that's the wrong button. I'm trying to be invisible. How do I be invisible again? You crouch, but if you press Y, you start flying. X is that. It's A. Like there's three different things you can do just from the crouching position. Like it's just it's complicated. The game is complicated. And on a fundamental level, it's fine to have a lot of different things that you can do. Ooh, that is a really weird water effect. There are two of me. I don't think I've ever noticed that. Um. But yeah, there are a lot of elements of this that are just overcomplicated. Like... I talked about this previously in a le in an episode where I was, in an episode of the World 5 where I was just like the game is the game offers you freedom like you can do a lot of moves in situations whereas Banjo Kazooie was a lot more limited and I feel like I, I made that out to be like a just a oh it's just how the game's designed thing it's not necessarily bad it's a bad thing I'm Updating my stance on that, it's a bad thing. I'm still enjoying ukulele, don't get me wrong, I'm criticizing it because I like it. But, Banjo-Kazooie was a lot more solid in all of its moves, because it could assign, like, all these different moves to itself, to each other. It could assign all these different moves to the same kinds of buttons, but because a lot of the time it limited you on where and when you could use these things... Like, with the pads and stuff. 
it kept the core gameplay very simple. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so that's the pumpkin thing that I didn't understand. Uh, alright. So I basically just made an entire new world over there. Cool. So it looks like I just kind of affected this area rather than, like, any of what I previously had done. So that's neat, I suppose. Um... What I will say... Is that... Ukulele tries to do this in the in a way that's like... Oh, if you... You can play it the way you want to. So it gives you a lot of this freedom. But not only does it make buttons really hard to tell, because I had to fit all of these different moves onto just all these different buttons. Uh, onto not too many buttons, really. So it's like... There's so much button confusion in this game, it's kind of ridiculous, in, in a way, like... Yes, Banjo was more straightforward than this. This game definitely has an element of... More, it has more puzzle-solving elements than I would say Banjo did. This game wants you to figure out what you're supposed to be doing. A lot more than Banjo does. The problem with that are things like the uh, in this level, in fact, the glass breaking stuff that I hate in this game, that I utterly despise in this game. The reason why I hate that is actually some. There's actually two factors. I realize how they could have fixed that very easily. Obvious answer one is do it the Banjo-Kazooie style. You really only have the one method of doing moves, so it uses like a pad or something, I don't know. Something like that. Where it's like... You really only have the... specific thing you can do. And that's it. So it's like, if I saw, if it was Banjo-Kazooie style and there were pads there, whatever. It would be another thing entirely. Huh. Ah. It would be another thing entirely to just understand, oh hey, I just don't have the move that it wants me to have yet. There would be no puzzle-solving problems there, because it would just be like, I understand now, I know, I know. The challenge is not necessarily figuring it out, the challenge is doing. That's generally how Banjo works. Huh. Oh. Interesting. I'm gonna need to turn that off then. So with the challenge being in doing, it didn't really have to worry about whether or not you understood what to do. Ukulele has these issues. And the problem is, it tries to make- it tries to let you puzzle solve, but then it doesn't incorporate options for if you figure out one solution to the puzzle that just isn't necessarily the solution they wanted you to use. I've taken a lot of damage from that. Okay, I couldn't actually tell if this was death or not. Um, so that's part of the reason why I hated that. Because it's like, I feel like I should have solved the answer.
Oh. Well, that's nice. To not have that link. I'm just gonna kill myself. Awful platforming is right. <laughs> Whatever. Um. Like, it's frustrating because I, f I felt like I solved the puzzle, but because... Because of arbitrariness, the game decided that was wrong. That hoop didn't appear there before. I just want to point that out. That hoop was definitely not there before. Uh, sorry, I'm concentrating. That really wasn't that bad. Um, so it was frustrating because it felt like I, you know, solved the puzzle. But it also didn't even seem to take... What's frustrating to me is that it didn't even seem to take into account that that was a problem, or going to be a problem. You know how that could have entirely been solved? If Yuka or Lele just had a friggin' text box that was, like, triggered if you use that move on that kind of glass. If, if it was just like, oh, I guess we need a stronger move to, to get through this. Like, that would have been, that would have solved the entire issue. 100%. I would have been like, oh, okay, so they understand that, yes, you can do this. This is a potential solution, but they, since they don't want you to do this solution... They're instead going to kind of reward you by just simply telling you, okay, you you kind of figured it out, but not really, because you need a new move. Just something like that is just an understanding of how gamer minds, how puzzle solving works. If they're going to want to take a more puzzle solving approach, they need to, like, think this through. But it kind of feels like they didn't. Okay, so there's nothing really else in here. I'm just, I'm just checking. It's better to check and then, I don't know. There's like these little pathways and like all this gunk, but the gunk doesn't mean anything. It's whatever. So yeah, that's why that's so exceptionally frustrating. It's just, it feels like it could have been better. It feels like it could have been smarter. Ukulele, quite honestly, isn't smart enough to be the puzzle solver that it wants to be. And what's more is that, in a lot of ways, I kind of feel like... Ukulele is... Neglecting aspects? Like... In some levels, I would say that Ukulele hasn't been as challenging as Banjo-Kazooie, because part of the challenge of Banjo was simply... This is actually completely relevant to everything I was just doing. The Ghost Riders are the perfect example of this. There was no real challenge to that guy. There was no challenge to finding him, he was just kind of sitting there. Sitting on top of the thing. The challenge, in their minds, was getting the... It was getting the... What? Oh, okay, so this is just a challenge. Alright. Shouldn't be too hard. It will be hard if the move doesn't work. How am I supposed to get out of this? It's frustrating because the stupid text box was actually not letting me jump. Okay.
Um, in the original Banjo Kazooie, the equivalent of the Ghost Riders, the, the Jinjos, part of the challenge for them was just finding them. In fact, that was really it. There was no other challenge to them. It was just find them. They didn't really want you to do much else with them. It was... The challenge was get to them. And that was all they wanted. Alright, that wasn't too bad. As soon as I realized they don't want you jumping towards them and just use them from the platforms, then it become, became really easy. Where the hell am I now? Oh, just just out here. Okay. That's nice and convenient. So yeah, part of the challenge, really all of the challenge of the Jinjos was just actively doing what you needed to. That was it. There's nothing more. Hello, Feli. I'm going too fast. Wow. Well, I'm dead now. Oh, no, the bush saved me, but I kind of didn't realize. Lol. But yeah, the challenge was getting to the Jinjo in the past. So they were generally placed in tricky areas, hidden areas, fun areas. In this game, it feels like they're just kind of there to exist. Not really anything else. They're just placed in locations nearby, I guess. And why, the reason why that's weird is because it no longer feels like it's a challenge to find these guys. With the exception of the yellow guy. But even then, he's kind of a stretch because he doesn't... He's not always the hardest any- e either. Oh, that's what I missed. So that one never goes away. And this is how I get to this button. To open this. Okay, so that makes sense now. Things are making sense. But that other guy that... But the, pr the problem is, a lot of the time in this game, it feels like they're banking on the challenge being do this extra little bit of a thing, like attack the guy, or uh, shoot sonar things at the one guy until you hopefully hit him. Like, so they're not necessarily hidden anymore. They're not in the direct path, but they're not usually, like, hidden either. It's more just like... They're kind- they kind of exist. And that's it. So... In that regard... What is the camera doing? In that regard, it's awkward. Because, like... The challenge isn't necessarily finding them anymore, but what you do for them isn't as hard as Platonic seems to think it is either. Oh, I'm pushing the ball. Okay. This is a really awkward forced camera angle for this. Just want to say that. Like, I can't... I almost wish I had Legend of Spyro's ball pushing. At least that one kind of, like, deforms to you. Can I lick it? Oh, you can lick it. Okay. Never mind. See, it looks like you're supposed to be able to lick it, but then, like, it doesn't come down when you try to lick it. But yeah, this makes it make much more sense. Are you kidding me? Come through the hole. Thank you. Where am I taking this, anyway? Yeah. 
Right there, apparently. Um. Uh huh. Oh, there's more. I just saw one over. Oh, or I talked to this guy. Okay, so yeah, we are supposed to do these things. And there's more than one. I don't see why there's a timer. At least the one up there stays. It's not like the dirt. It's not like the fruit from Mario. Uh, Mario Sunshine. Where it will be like, hey, you tried to start this challenge with beforehand. But because you didn't talk to the person first, now it doesn't count. You have to do it again. Alright. I grew three mushrooms for you. Is that good enough? Cool. Alright. Um. Anyways, let me just finish what I was talking about the Jinjos and I'll end the episode. The reason why it's awkward is because, like, part- they seem to think part of the challenge is not just finding them, but then also doing the thing that each Jinjo requires. The problem with that is that- not Jinjo. Whatever these things are. Whatever- the Ghost Riders. So, each Ghost Rider isn't a challenge. Wait, what? How are there new quills over here? I know I've been over here before. This is the boss area. How were there quills over here that I didn't collect? I don't understand that. Also, I still need to find the play coin, don't I? Huh. Well, maybe now that I can fly, it'll be easier to find. But... Yeah, that's kind of... ...concerning, I suppose. That I still don't have the play coin for this thing, and I haven't seen it. But yeah. So the reason- it just kind of makes them awkward. They're not necessarily hard anymore, they're just- they just exist. So it's just... I don't know. I don't know why I even started talking about them, but I did, and it's just another criticism I have for the game. Alright, well, since I'm over here, next time on Let's Play Ukulele, I'm gonna... I need to find that one area again, so I'm gonna do that off-screen. The area that I complained about with the glass, because I can do that now. So I'm gonna try and find that area, and go through it, and then... I'll go through it in the next episode, of course. And then proceed to make my way back over there. Probably go through the thing with the guy, with the girl skeleton who had was in front of a pipe that I just kind of ignored. I'll go do her thing and then just see other stuff that I'm missing. How much am I missing? I'm curious. This is not the right thing. I'm missing basically all the minor collectibles, but only 10 quills and... Uh, six pages. Two of those are Rextro, so basically four pages. If I get one from the Skeleton Girl and then one from the thing that I couldn't do, that's two more potential uh, pages. One of them is also going to be Quill, so there's one page that I'm missing entirely. Alright. And I also have the Skeleton thing already for this one, so that's fine. Alright, next time on Let's Play Ukulele, we're going to continue on the game. We're back in it! Yay! And I'll probably have more criticism too, because I did not use all the ones that I wanted to talk about.